well guys thanks for coming along for another one here we're doing some spring cleanup uh, we start by going around the trees um, getting everything out into the open for the lawnmower here you can see there's some roots uh, I'm trying to get everything out from between those because the mower doesn't really like to get in there and suck that stuff out very well so besides it's just kind of hard to drive over so yeah well, next here, we're going around the house, getting everything blown out. Yeah, you gotta love it when you got toys and sidewalk chalk to blow around here you'll see me pick it up off the ground I think it's kind of the courteous thing to do although man if you were mowing it probably look kind of cool shooting through the mower deck pretty colors anyway so yeah here we're just finishing up getting around the house um, through all the yard decorations and stuff So now here you can't really see the GoPro doesn't really do it justice kind of like when you're watching uh, somebody hit a jump on a dirt bike. Um, you can't really tell the contour how, how uh, steep that hill actually is. It's not really steep per se but uh, definitely a little bit of a slope there so try to blow that down get all of our leaves onto flat ground that's where the mower does the best uh, sucking up is on the flat ground so we try to get everything on flat surfaces so the mower can uh, stand a fighting chance. Here you can see uh, we're starting to we just go around and bag everything up with uh, the dethatcher up first during our cleanups. Uh, if we had that rake down in the front that dethatcher would be pushing uh, the leaves that we blew um, all over the place. So we try to just go around and suck up the bulk of the leaves first. Pretty excited we're getting down there now with uh, cleanups wrapping up. I think we got like six to go now or something. So getting pretty close to uh, being able to put down some fertilizer which I'm really excited for. It's always fun to try out new equipment. We got the new Toro uh, Spray Master which yeah I'm really excited to use and uh, the ground is definitely at the point now where it needs it. Um, it's raining a lot here. Right now the whole week looks wet for us so be kind of interesting but we're doing our best to get everything down and uh, done it in a timely manner so yeah here we go sucking up some more leaves blow everything out into the open it's super important to do a good uh, detailed job we get tons of people coming out um, asking us to do their yards too so we definitely uh, pride ourselves in uh, quality. Here you can see we got the new Zach Bismarck D Thatcher. That's a custom jobby. I built that. Um, it's a winch uh, lift D Thatcher, which is pretty nice. You can't see it, but the remote is uh, right by my left hand for that. It's mounted on the, the handlebar up there on the grandstand. And as you can imagine, uh, only a double bagger would fill up as quick as that thing does. Holy smokes, I have to dump that thing a hundred times, it seems like. I'd like to make a review on this bagging system. I actually get quite a few questions about it. Um, it's not really the greatest. I'd maybe rate it a three or a four star out of ten. So really that great but that's a video for another time it gets the job done so. 
here we're just dumping the bags. We got a custom built uh, leaf loader there in the back of the dump trailer. Oh boy. A little bit more dethatching. That uh, dethatcher works really good, guys. I'm super impressed with it. Um, the, having the winch on there is a huge uh, time saver because you don't have to really stop to, to lift that thing. You can just push the button on there. The button does have kind of a sweet spot on it, but uh, it's not too hard to fi get figured out. So. I have been uh, dethatching yards. I think this is like my sixth or seventh season doing this. So, first time on a stander, the Toro Grandstand definitely does a good job um, when it comes to dethatching. I really like it, it gets into uh, tight spots. The deck is uh, 52 inch, which seems to work awesome for these uh, smaller residential yards. Um, we do have the deck set pretty low on this. I want to say like two and a quarter. Uh, it's kind of you kind of have it. Got to have it that low to get a good suction to get all that thatch out. This yard looks pristine, guys. Look at that. And I haven't even started dethatching yet. Well, down the lines that is. That's basically just sucked up. I think at this point yep first first run at the dethatcher here you'll you'll see uh, really paints them stripes really nice in the grass oh yeah that thing is sweet I don't know we must have must have done about close to uh, 20 yards or so so far it's holding up pretty good I'm swinging this thing off to the side kind of following the contour on the side here you like I was saying earlier you can't really see but there's a little bit of a hill there and with the deck being that low I definitely don't want to scalp that hill so man look at those lines holy smokes that looks good that's the fun thing about watching your videos back. You can uh, kind of admire your work uh, when you're out working. It's you're kind of in the moment and not really uh, enjoying it. Not really enjoying it as much, but man, is it fun to watch? Anyways, guys. Thanks so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate all the support. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you would. Uh, it goes a long ways with me and uh, keeping me motivated. I like to keep putting up videos for you guys. I do have a little bit of an announcement. I think we're going to be uh, holding off on live chats for a little while until we do get a few more subscribers. So. Just an FYI, but like I said, I really uh, appreciate the support. So, thanks for watching my stuff, guys. I hope you were able to kind of learn a little bit about cleanups in the upper Midwest. We're in Minnesota, if you didn't know. And um, shoot me a message or uh, let me know if you have any questions. Questions in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.